Hi everyone, today on this video I'm going to show how to create a model. It's like a message when the user click on the button or whatever, it will appear on the bottom of the page and will show. Um, so first of all, let's create a new project and we'll put model example. We can skip the Firebase setup. I'm going to delete here that bar and we'll, for default, turn off the safe area. On the column, another column, just to do the default. What I'm going to do, put the center and then we'll put a button. Actually, let's put a row here, then we can put the center, just to be button, let's put, okay, it's fine, like that. After that, how I can create a model, okay, we, we go here on the page selector, let's go on the diamond, call it components. So let's create a new component. Let's put model example. And create new. Here we go to the widget tree and then we create a container first. It's important to put the container just to work properly, okay, people, guys. So after that, Let's put a column and put um, a row call it on the center always. Let's put a padding here, three. And here, 15. And also, 15. On this row, let's put a text color log out and column another row on the center let's put padding of 30 and put two buttons button one and then button two Is here um, reduce okay on the row let's put like that actually like that on the button one let's put uh, out and on the bottom two let's put also okay Here we go guys, how to put the model on the bottom on the first page. We go back on the home page, click on the button. Not just for the button, okay guys, but for each thing that you put the action. We go to there, on the action flow editor. Because will be just one action, we don't need to open the flow editor by now. So Let's say ash for the bottom show. Open it so model example. It's important people guys to put the same height that you put it that you created on the model. So let's see. I will just for more beautiful here I will decrease the size so as you can see 200 and 11 okay so let's put um, 
let's go back for the home page and then let's put 200 and we can test now and see if it works okay let's reduce here and button as you can see the modal is working properly okay people so yeah this is the one the other tutorial on Flutter flow don't hesitate to ask and please subscribe my channel okay see you later guys bye bye